A new report finds Virginia could do more to crack down on drugged driving. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco has more on the findings of a new study. Well, the Virginia State Crime Commission looked at the impact of the Commonwealth's DUI laws over 20 years and found there are several barriers to enforcement that lawmakers should review. A new report finds DUI arrests are down in Virginia, even as deaths on Virginia's roadways are up. State Senator Scott Surabell is concerned that drugged driving is a growing problem that is not being fully detected. We also have a concern that perhaps the popularity of marijuana is causing more people to drive while high as opposed to driving while drunk. More than one year after lawmakers legalized recreational marijuana possession in small amounts, Delegate Rob Bell says a lack of advanced police training and evidence gathering tools is making it hard to hold high drivers accountable. It's not a little harder with a DUID, it's a lot harder. And it makes it much harder to get a conviction and more importantly to get that person off the road than it is for an alcohol case. For instance, the report says blood testing is the gold standard for drug impaired driving cases, but it takes a long time and some are having trouble accessing it because of the strain it puts on hospital and police staff that are already stretched thin. The study says at least 26 states allow roadside drug screening using saliva, but Virginia is not one of them. There are all kinds of legal issues surrounding that, which I would want to have a discussion about and have answered before we authorize police officers to start sticking objects in people's mouths just because they're driving on the highway. Virginia also does not currently have a legal limit for THC concentration like other states, something Bell wants to see changed. At this point, we don't have everybody agreeing that's the right way to go. But to me, we need to do something. Lawmakers say they're discussing all of these potential reforms ahead of the 2023 legislative session when we may see some action on this issue. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Jackie DeFusco.